Sometimes a story simply finds you and your imagination takes off. By pure chance, I visited an old mansion days before it was smashed to pieces to make way for a concrete plant. The estate was locally known as the home of the mad Count Edward Fonseca, the illegitimate son of the 19th century French naturalist, explorer, and diplomat, the Count de Cassano, and his Brazilian lover, Carolina Arroyo Fonseca. This chance meeting with a decaying mansion sparked a fascination that has kept me occupied in countless hours of research and taken me to the archives of 19th century Paris and the dusty files of a Victorian legal firm. What I uncovered was a story of romance, infidelity, family resentment, madness, and a couple's shared passion for the science of evolution. But what was missing from the archives entirely was the perspective of Carolina, a young woman whose life was transformed when at 16, she fell in love with the French naturalist who stumbled half dead out of the jungle and onto her family's veranda. When her brother caught them in bed together, she was banished from her home and never saw her family again. In Paris, she had no social standing in French high society after the Count's estranged wife learned of their relationship. The couple attempted to reinvent themselves by moving to Australia. In Melbourne, she existed under the guise of a widowed mother of two sons. Their illegitimate sons lived to fight their own demons in a Victorian court of law. Carolina may exist only on the periphery of documented history, but she takes center stage in my historical novel, The Natural History of Love.